After months of debating, I finally decided to pull the trigger. With only 28 days left in the season and winter right on my heels, it was time to build the ultimate chicken coop. I didn't have $100,000 in tools or a workshop, so with minimal experience and minimal tools, I decided to put myself to the test. Could this be done? Would I soon have the happiest chickens on the planet or the most miserable? To build the ultimate low maintenance coop, I first had to look at some designs. There were just so many out there. Until I came across one that fit my needs perfectly, created by the Third Coast Craftsman. It had two separate roofs for both the coop and the run. This would be crucial in both my egg collection and water collection systems. Shout out to Third Coast Craftsman for the inspiration. All coops require airflow. And when it comes to summertime, a chicken has a very tough time regulating heat. So I decided that I wanted windows that would flip up. And in case of heavy rainfall, this would add a little bit of protection until I got home. The first roof on top of the chicken coop itself, I would have extended. This way, if it's raining out or any kind of precipitation, it'll cover the person that's trying to get the eggs. And for cleaning purposes, instead of having a small door on the side of this coop, I want the entire wall to be hinged and open up. When it comes time for cleaning, I want to be in and out as fast as possible. When it came to my run, I wanted a split door. I didn't want to always have to worry about my chickens getting out at times that I didn't want them out. But I also wanted to feed them scraps of food anytime throughout the day. I believe this is a necessity in all chicken coop runs. For the second larger roof, I decided to make this the primary roof for rain collection. The coop itself is probably going to be around five or six feet wide, I'm thinking. So just a small piece of gutter, and then I'm going to run a line into a rain barrel. From there, I'll run a hose to some PVC. This is where I'll attach drinking cups. The next step, I will be covering the entire thing in hardware cloth. Chicken wire is a fable. Anything can get into there. Hardware cloth might cost a little bit more, but it's going to make the difference from having Alive chickens to no chickens. I'll be placing hardware cloth around one to two feet around the perimeter of the coop under the ground. From there, I'll pour stone, both for aesthetic and defensive purposes. I think this is a great start. Now with the clock against us, it's time to get to work. All right. Ugh. Am I a carpenter in real life? No. Are there better ways to do this? Absolutely. Um, am I doing it the worst way? It's got. It's got to be. There's got to be some some worse way. This can't be the worst way. I mean, it might be. It might be down there, but you know. You know what I mean. Well, let's take a look at this. So, this bad boy is going in here, right? Right here. Boom, boom. Two forty-fives, and I'm using three-inch screws. Some of these bad boy uh, Amazon ve velocities. Pre-drilled those two on each side. And uh, I don't know, it should go in like this. And yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty good. It's on there pretty good. Yeah. Huh. Oh, shit. Uh. So, uh... <clears throat> I got a question. Is this is this normal? Is it normal to pre-drill and then pre-screw stuff? I'm gonna be doing this piece up here, okay? Going across. And uh, you know, pre-drill. You know, but pre-screwed. Oh my god.
This thing's gonna be solid. This is gonna be our storm shelter. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out. Can't make you happy now. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out. Can't make you happy. Carpenter watching is probably having a heart attack. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Get a look. Uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I just wonder what you're dreaming of when you sleep and smile so comfortable. I just wish that I could give you that bad look that's perfectly unsaid. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out. He always been faking me out. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me out. Can't make you happy or now. Sometimes all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. He always been faking me like a big storm is coming to the area. I'm gonna have to put the roofing on immediately. Unfortunately, I only have two of the metal softening pieces, so uh, we're just gonna have to make do with that for now. Right, Pooh Bear? <laughs> I mean, it already got rained on once, but I try to wanna keep it to a minimum. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> All right, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> we had a little bit of an emergency camp trip, so it's been like four or five days. Uh, so let's get back to it. This next move, I, uh, I saw in the commercial once, okay? And we're gonna be using uh, this bad boy. Yeah, check it out. This right here was uh, handed down to me from my paw, from his paw, from his paw's paw. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try not to cut our hands off. So, uh, Let's take a look. All right, so I didn't even measure these yet. And uh, that was the first time I just kind of like, let's see what it looks like. My heart skipped a beat. And actually, I don't even know if I want to put this in the video. Might make it look like I planned this. Wow. Wow. All right, that's gonna be pretty nice, I think. Good 
bit of a late start today and the sun's going down and when this happens for some reason we have like uh the craziest mosquitoes on earth in this area i mean i'm just i'm starting to get tattered up it's you know they're they're crazy you guys should see my legs right now they're destroyed they're like the ankle you know that ankle vein you guys have that <laughs> uh they, they love it delicious Yeah, that right there, that's a bug patch. got the floor done. I don't know if you guys saw that. I didn't in time-lapse mode. The piece of tile I had on that little roof like pitched down and it, it slid down and hit me right in the nose. Look at this. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Honestly, I thought it was the end. Take a look at the floor. Not too bad, right? It's not too bad. I'm gonna put some stuff on top of it, you know, that way to weigh it down. And then before the end of the project, I'm gonna do some things just to make it a little more watertight because it is only, you know, stick down tile and there are small seams. So, yeah, we'll come back to that. Chilling on the beach, yeah, baby in the sun like the Teletubbies Balls hanging low while I pop a ball off of y'all Chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot Bitch, I'm always after Guala, yeah, and you are not bad as beep Keep on going till you hit the spot, whoa I'm a big bag hunter with the bow She got a big bed, drop her, drop her low Mama called me and she happy with the grow Never ever fall for a party, that's a no I've been in the club and taking shots if you got your mask off In the photo you getting crap, hopping out the front Shut the CVS is like a block away Bottom moisturizer, my ice cold is dry on my face Don't need that VVS, my ice is fake Your life is fake, I choose to do it for my pocket sake You're basing your opinion, so what the major says I renovate the bad energy I erase uh. Yeah, I don't really ever wanna talk, 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 talk Only really ever wanna talk, 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 talk Guess I'm going back to the side, 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 side At least this money never really stops, stop, stop, stop Hey, little mama, yeah, you heard about me I'ma pop you like a pea, yeah, at a mommy Yeah, I feel so hot like I'm chilling on the beach Yeah, baby in the sun like the Teletubbies Balls hanging low while I pop a ball off of y'all Chain swinging, clang clang, and it costs a lot Bitch, I'm always after Guala, yeah, and you are not bad as beep Keep on going till you hit the spot, whoa I'm a big bag hunter with the bow She got a big bed, dump her, drop her low Mama called me and she happy with the grow Never ever fall for a party, that's an oath
so I'm in a bit of a predicament. I can't hold this window up and put the hinges on up top by myself. I mean, I could rig something to hold this up, you know, and screw, you know, make like a, like a U and, it, and screw it into the top here, into the struts, risers, whatever you want to call it. But I'm, I'm crunching for time. I'm trying to get this damn thing done. So I think we're going to have to wait for the wife to get home and put her to work. I guess we're just going to tackle another part of the project right now. now a lot of you are probably thinking why doesn't he just build the wall on the ground he's making his wife hold up that two by four this whole time uh yeah she loves it <laughs> ow what you like doing it didn't you yeah whatever Per usual, it's uh, starting to rain outside. Yeah, of course it is. Getting, getting a little bit up too. There it is right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I swear I got bit. I wouldn't lie to you. Check it out. Look at those beautiful storm clouds every day. But you know what? They're not gonna stop us. We're gonna get this done before winter, hopefully. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Okay, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to uh, stain the insides of these too, inside of the window frames. Yeah, I'm holding it up, you know, staining it. And uh, yeah, that happened. Snapped. Snap, snap, city. That sucks. 
Hey, look at this. Huh? Huh? The stain actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. You know, I bought this stuff on Amazon. It was it was cheaper than uh, stuff at Home Depot and Lowe's, but it was extreme. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I gotta say, I like it. I like it a lot. So when I do all this stuff, um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna paint it or stain it. I decided it was so nice that I'm just gonna stain this stuff a secret color, a lot darker. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. But actually, I am going to use a pilot bit just because I was thinking about it. I want to be doing all my cutting from the finish side in. That way, if you get any kind of like blowouts, not like the kind, you want to be going from the finish side this way. That I know. So we're just going to hit the corners just to mark it out there. Okay, let's go to the other side. That looks good. That looks real freaking good. I got a gal, she looked just fine. Always bring me whiskey and wine. Every single morning and dinner and night. Everything she do, she do 
just right When I say what you want me to do She say it's just one thing that I want from you A little bit of rock A little bit of roll A little bit of rock A little bit of roll A little bit of rock A little bit of roll Any bitty little bit of rock and roll We went to a dance, she was looking swell Spinning around just like a carousel Swinging right We have on a ball on Saturday night The band leader said What you want us to play The kids all how to just take it away A little bit of rock A little bit of roll I say a little bit of rock Ooh, A little bit of roll Well, a little bit of rock A little bit of roll Itty bitty little bit of rock and roll Look just fine. Always bring me whiskey and wine. Breakfast in the morning and dinner at night. Everything she do, she do just right. When I say oh, what you want me to do, she say the truth. Coop is uh, coming along, as you can see, staining it with the screen on. It's terrible. Terrible. We have a deadline. We're actually getting chickens tomorrow. A couple birds in the area. They, they love the coop. They can't stop chirping about it, as you can hear. Tomorrow's a big day, so just trying to hustle as much as I can. I still don't have water system in yet. You know, I'm gonna be using a uh, rain barrel. I wanna try to make this as like eco-friendly and self-sufficient as possible. I also have a, uh, they got like that, that feeder, it's called like granddad, your granddad's feeder, grandpa's feeder. I got like a cheap knockoff and Get him, Loki. And uh, I'm gonna be making it so it works just as good, hopefully. Is what it is, and uh, I'm gonna take a couple more sips and then get back to it.
things caulked up, waterproof, poop proof, pee proof. I mean, as much as it can be. You got some uh, pine shavings down. And we're off to go get the chickens. Alright, so just got the hens. Um, I'm thinking about doing a little experiment. I got the nesting boxes and i'm gonna put one golf ball in each one but put two in one and let's see if the one with two is where they start laying eggs first i don't know it's a weird experiment i just feel like doing it So I made a huge mistake. I'm working on the coop and uh, decided to put a swing in for these little chicks. And I accidentally locked myself inside. I'm, I'm gonna have to put a string or something that I can get the hell out of here. But you know, we're bonding though in the meantime. I had to call my wife because it's either she opens it up or I gotta destroy the whole thing. I gotta get the hell out of here. Will I survive? Wait till the next episode to find out. Okay, problem solved and uh, we were rescued, and now we have this installed. I ended up putting a little rope to that, and then you know, a washer on a screw, and uh, you know, that'll be my, that'll be my. I don't even know what my safety. I mean, it's pull string, my oh shit handle. I don't know what to call it. <sighs> yeah, that was a close one. Almost ate these guys sooner than expected. <laughs> Actually, for now, they're egg birds. Yeah but they're not producing yet because they're still young. But you know, <laughs> I would have been up in there pulling some out early. <laughs> All right, here we go. We uh, got the swing in place. Look at that thing. One of them's really shy. She's a, uh, like a silver, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, look at my hair, are you kidding? Hold on a second. She's like a silver something, let's see, silver surfer? Where is she? I don't know where she's probably, oh, she's right up there on the perch, do you see her? Ladies, look, ladies. Are you kidding? Look at that swing, look at that swing. All that labor, they don't even give a shit. I'm also going to be adding a lot more sand. I did that first coarse layer. That way I could just like have a lot of the like drainage issues taken care of. If you got like a nice coarse layer on the on the bottom. Once the sand settled, looks like I need more. Put about 500 pounds down. And I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna get 500 more pounds. So, you know, there's 500 more pounds. That quick Crete construction sand, all purpose, baby. Um, so we're gonna throw that down and, you know, probably call, probably call the night. Here we have the uh, model I bought online. I'll put the link in the description. Oh yeah. Hello sunshine, hello blue skies, hello lovely day. Hello sunshine, hello sky. Hello white clouds floating by. Hello cooling summer breeze, coming whistling through the trees. Hello sand and hello seas. 
Hello positivity Surrounding everything I see Hello happy, hello free Hello you and hello me We've been getting a shit ton of rain Finally got a nice beautiful day And we got another storm coming on Monday So I'd like to get the water Water collection What do you, what do you want to call it? The rain barrel? I'd like to get that into place with the gutters Before the storm also, these girls, they're tired. They're tired of drinking out of little doggy bowls. They're ready for the, the big sippers. So we're gonna install the whole system today. Your loveliness is so sublime A wonderful creation of our generation Perhaps I can wake you with a little persuasion Morning, good morning, rise and shine Never thought I'd see such opportunity All the world is feeling fine I can jump for joy, feel ecstatic Sun comes along, I'm in the attic Morning, good morning, rise and shine So as you can see, I screwed it down like this I ended up cutting this open Screw that on here And there And I just need something to, you know I think support that a little bit and it's pretty much done maybe silicone some stuff for sure i ended up putting this into the hole that i cut out in there and then i decided to cut some screen material just for you know get more of the fine particles out and i wrapped the whole thing around in it and yeah just have to uh silicone that up and everything and then uh we'll get on to the next step getting the hose out getting the pvc going and the little chicky cups <laughs> morning, good morning, rise and shine Today's the day I'll make you mine The sun is rising over the hay It's gonna be a wonderful day Morning, good morning, rise and shine Yesterday, I wanted a stone around the entire coop And when I checked the hours for the uh, stone yard it looked like they were going to be closed on the weekend. So I had to rush and let's just say I didn't record the process, but that's all right because I actually decided um, I was going to change some things up. Uh, a, family me a family member of mine I had a bunch of extra pavers that they were willing to give us. They knew about the projects, kind of lucked out there. So I decided I'm gonna change the design up anyways. Put all this stone around. Um, was gonna, you know, dig like an edging and stuff. Uh, but I was just kind of doing this real quick. And then as you can see, put some smaller stone all back here. And I did that mostly because when it rains and stuff that just gets super muddy back there and i want to be able to go back there you know especially if i'm gonna add anything else as you can see the girls are uh taking some sips let's open this up it only took them a couple days to get acclimated with these two systems but yeah uh we got these big ass pavers so i'm gonna make sure to record this what do you guys think oh my god my beard's gone I trimmed it down it's like almost all the way gone i think i think it might have been a mistake anyways
it's been a few weeks since I finished the build. As you can see, my girls are loving it. They're not laying yet, but they're still young, so it's to be expected. After it's all said and done, I used about five power tools and a few hand tools. This just goes to show you, you don't need the ultimate workshop to build the ultimate chicken coop.